Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today I'm going to be talking about Dungeons and Dragons 5th Edition and player characters who are pregnant. Now, the reason I am speaking on this topic is Nerdarchy, uh, the guys who do Dungeons and Dragons commentary on YouTube, brought had a, had a question from one of their viewers, and that question was, what are the proper play mechanics for a player character that has become pregnant? Fascinating, fascinating question, right? Now, the Nerdarchy, um, the Nerdarchy Primarchs, Nate, Ted, and Ryan answered this question. Um, so let's get into my res my reaction to their answer to the question. I think they're one hundred percent wrong on everything they said, and the reason why was they said a whole lot of negative attribute. Uh, negative attributes that should be a negative attributes, negative modifiers that should be applied to that character. That's 100% wrong. Okay. Now, before I go forward, I love the Nerdy guys. They're the best in the business at D and D uh, commentary, tabletop role playing game commentary on the internet today. Uh, they work super, super hard, and we wouldn't have this awesome question to talk about if it, if they hadn't given it the platform they did on YouTube. So I'm really appreciative of the work they've done, and I love their show, and I think they're great commentaries on this particular topic. I think they're 100% wrong, but so I wanted to clarify that. Okay, so how do I get to say they're wrong, right? What's my what's my bona fides, right? So my bona fides is I have four children, and my wife had all four of them, and so I have witnessed firsthand four distinct pregnancies. Pregnancies. In addition to that, I'm a church-going evangelical Christian. Evangelicals follow, you know, this is all logic. Uh, in the Bible it says, be fruitful and multiply, and so we do, right? So evangelical Christians have a lot of kids, so not only have I seen my wife have four children, I've seen dozens of women in church for 20 or 25 years and been able to see, been able to react with them, shake their hand once a week, see them at small group, you know, once a week, see how they act, see how they interact with people, all those things, you know, because that's real. And so I've interacted with literally dozens of women who were pregnant and seen them through the entire nine months of their pregnancy and see how capable they were of moving, how capable they were of interacting with people, all those things, right? So the three pillars of, uh, of Dungeons and Dragons is combat, exploration, and interaction. So I have evidence to put forward for the exploration and the interaction part. The exploration part would be movement. The interaction part would be speaking and dealing with people. Now, uh, now to tell the truth, thank goodness I've never seen a pregnant woman in combat and I hope never to see a pregnant woman in combat. So from that perspective, there's limited evidence for everybody answering this question, okay? Except, I will say this, I'm gonna give my player character template for pregnancy in Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition, okay? Which is the correct player character template for pregnancy in Dungeons and Dragons 5th, 5th edition. Until we get a definitive answer from a pregnant woman who plays Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition. That will be the final mic drop on this question. And I am eagerly awaiting that, <laughs> right? All right, I'll be, I will, man, you're going to, you have to build a special like button for that video, YouTube. All right, so here is, uh, so, so here's my template for pregnancy for a player character that gets pregnant in, um, in Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition. Okay, so first thing, first three months, no modifiers whatsoever, okay? Just, uh... Second, uh, so first trimester, no modifiers. Uh, and then second trimester, okay? You now have a second, uh, you have a baby tiefling or a baby, um, a baby human or a baby elf or a baby half elf or a baby dragonborn. So the mother gets those hit points. So that's gonna be a plus two to HP in the second trimester, okay? Uh, in, in addition, um, at this point, you know, based on what I've seen from my wife, there there are many people. You, I'm sure you've heard this that there is a glow about um, about pregnant, you know, people who are pregnant. Okay, and uh, and so at that point, 
that person should get the glow. And that's going to be a plus two to charisma, okay? Now, both of those will go away once the baby is born. But during that, that glow is absolutely real. It's radiant and there's more beauty to that person. And if you've ever been around a pregnant woman, you've seen it. And so it should be reflected in the statistics, right? So, um, so at that point, in addition, uh, the, uh, you know, now that the, the, the baby is in the second trimester, the mother is growing this person in them, right? And so the mother biologically has a connection to the wisdom and the intellect of that baby, right? So that would be a plus two to intelligence and a plus two to wisdom as well, okay? Now, oh, now they're just gonna get a plus two to intellect from just being able to access the thoughts and you know, just having an experience, an intuitive experience of having an access essentially being linked to a second mind, okay? Now, wisdom, that does not come from the, you know, the plus two in wisdom, that does not come to a baby, that does not come from the baby. The plus two in wisdom is when a mother is pregnant, she gets, um, she becomes more cautious, right? And so that is where the plus two in wisdom is going to be reflected, okay? Uh, also, the reason why I should back up, the reason why I say there should be absolutely no negatives throughout the, for any physical statistics throughout the pregnancy is, I have seen many women be pregnant and many of them continue to run and exercise and do yoga and, you know, do many, many active things all the way through their pregnancy. So it's not fair to take a player character and say, you're going to be the player character who is stuck in bed, right? You, do, you don't know. So we have to give them the benefit of the doubt and there should be zero physical disabilities. There should be zero negative modifiers for being pregnant for any player character because there's there's just no basis to to apply that to a player character okay all right so with that said okay third trimester okay once you go into the third trimester at this point you have the benefits you got you keep all the benefits you got from the second trimester and in addition to that on investigation roles because you're more cautious now you have access to that second mind um you know, you're, you're, you're experiencing the intellect of a, of a second being that's being grown within you. Um, that's going to give you diplomacy on investigation roles, and that's going to give you an advantage on uh, diplomacy roles as well, okay? Uh, so, so that is the correct template for a fully pregnant character. Uh, advantage on investigation roles, advantage on diplomacy roles. Uh, in addition to that, plus two to wisdom, plus two to intellect, uh, plus two to charisma, and um, and also a plus two to constitution. That is the correct template for pregnancy for a for a Dungeons and Dragons fifth edition player character that is pregnant. Thank you.